Hello world, so today I'm going to do something I never really thought I would do, but since so many of you have requested it, I am going to be making a tutorial of how to make your very own foam hip pads. So let's just get right into it and I'm going to show you what you're going to need to make your pads. Item number one, you need your foam. This is a large piece of slab foam which I purchased at Hancock Fabrics. This particular brand is So Perfect Make It Green Cushion Foam and this foam slab is 2 inches thick by 22 inches across and 36 inches in length. So that is the size that I always buy when I make my pads. So I just wanted to recommend that to all of you out there. Next you're going to need a tape measure and other than that you need a sharpie and you also need an electric knife. You can do this with scissors but it takes a whole lot longer and the end result usually isn't quite as good but scissors do work so yeah. But you can get electric knives for a fairly reasonable price. I believe this one was less than $16 at Walmart and it works very, very well. So I am very happy with it. Okay, so what you are doing when you make foam hip or butt pads, you are basically making part of a body or your body that you are going to add to what already exists on your body. So you need to make measurements of your body and those measurements will then be transferred to the foam and you will mark it with your sharpie. Okay so the first measurement you're going to need to do is going to be from where you want your hip pads to start. Usually right about there which is the natural waistline or natural hip because your hip bone is right there. You usually want to start about here and I like to go down all the way to about my knee. So what you would do is take your measuring tape and measure all the way down to for me about my knee and that is about 20 inches and I'm going to write that down. Make sure you write down your measurements. The next measurement you need to make is going to be where you want the front of the pad to start to where you want it to stop and if you're just doing this for hips and you don't need extra in the booty you would only measure about to there, which for me is 8 or 9 inches, but I like to have the extra booty, so you would measure back farther, of course, and for me that is about 14 inches. And another measurement I really like to do before I get started is how wide I want my pads to be down where they're going to end, right above my knee. So I like to mark that as well. And that's not something you have to do, but it really helps, at least for me. So yeah, that is a tip from me to you. And one more thing I wanted to say before I get started is I'm just going to record myself carving the one pad for one side of my hips and butt because I will be doing the exact same thing to the other pad for the other side. So I'm sorry if that isn't really what you wanted or expected, but I don't want the video to be like 40 minutes long. So yeah, so now it is time to get started. Let's do this. Okay, I have gotten the foam slab out of the package. What I'm going to do is 
basically see where I think I want to start it, even though I've already made my measurements. And I can see that this 22 inches is definitely going to be enough in length. So I want to make sure there will be enough room there as well. And yeah, so it looks like I can really just cut this in half to do both of the pads because if I cut this down the center of the slab, I will actually have the room to do one pad on one side and one pad on the other. And yeah, and I'm sorry if that was confusing, but it's not the easiest thing to explain, but yeah. So I'm going to take my tape measure and Sharpie. And here is the foam slab. So when it comes to how far I wanted the pads to go down, like I said earlier, that would be about 20 inches. And the slab is 22 inches in width. So I have enough room there. And I am going to leave that extra room for now because extra room is always a good thing because once you cut something off, you cannot go back. So if you have the space to leave any extra room, please do because it will save you a lot of frustration and having to do things all over again. So now I'm going to measure how wide I wanted the pads. That means going around this way. So that measurement was about 14 inches and this slab of foam is 36 inches in length. So if I go over 14 inches it's about right there and that is of course not centered, but I think I'm going to cut it in the center anyway because again, I want that extra room. So I'm going to measure to the full 36 inches and then find the center. And the center of course is 18 inches. So I'll make a mark there. So there's one mark, just to be sure I get this right, and I'll measure it again up towards this end, and again mark it at 18 inches. And then I'm going to use the tape measure as a straight edge basically, and lightly draw a line on the 18 inch mark okay so currently this is what the foam looks like okay so now I'm going to take my electric knife and I'm going to cut down the center line here Bam, so there we have the two pieces of foam which are now squares. Okay, so let me show you what I do. Start kind of drawing a line with the Sharpie to get more of the shape I want for the pads. So, yeah. and curve it off at the end. So that will be turned over obviously, but yeah, I wish I could film this in a better way, but oh well. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This will be for the back where my butt will go and on the bottom here, using the measurements I took of how wide I wanted the foam to be down where the hip pad is going to end near my knee, I will take that measurement and make a line coming up this way and then out to the butt. 
So I'm going to leave a little more extra space and I'm going to slowly bring that up and out even though I know that I'm going to have to carve it smaller because this is gigantic. So yeah, that is my basic shape and now I'm going to start carving. So you want to carve the foam at an angle so you get the curved off effect and this is going to be the side that's going to be up against your skin and remember that when you cut it if it's not smooth it's not going to be a big deal because people are not going to see that it's not smooth because that will be the side touching your skin and this smooth side will be the side showing out on the outside so you don't have to worry about any little bumps or Ta-da! And also I should mention that I am not going to leave this the 2 inch thickness. I am going to thin it down to about 1.5 inches in thickness. So let's start some carving on this side over here by the butt. And there you have that. So yeah, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's starting to become a smoother edge there and curving down so when it's next to your skin that edge will lay flat that is the whole point of carving it like this where it gets thinner and thinner as you get to the edge of the pad so that it will lay flat and look natural under tights or spanks or off-brand Spanx, <laughs> whatever you choose to wear. So, let's continue. And we are going to be making the straight edges thinner as well, of course. So let's do that. Current progress. <laughs> okay, look at that. Very smooth, flat edge there. So, like I said, when that part lays against the skin, it's going to be a pretty smooth transition from pad to skin and then when you put tights shapers whatever over the pad it's going to look even more seamless and natural so yeah you just gotta really keep working at it until you feel like you got the product that you intended to create for yourself and yeah, that's all there really is to it, but I will continue filming myself carving the pad just to show you the progress, and yeah, let's keep working, shall we? Getting better and better all the time. Now I'm going to take a little break and carve this on my own so I don't feel distracted and screw up. But I think you get the idea and I will show you later and film myself carving it some more. So yeah, I will be back very soon.